Cloth physics. I'm going to show you the basics. So here we are in ye old third person template. We want to give Mr. Mannequin a cape and make him cape man. Navigate to the mannequin. Right click. Asset actions. Export. Choose a place you will remember. I like to make an external content folder inside my project directory so everything is nice and neat. FBX 2013 works. Uncheck LEDs otherwise we'll get like six different mannequins and you'll have to delete them. Open up Blender, our lord and savior. Delete the default cube because it's heresy. Import the mannequin you just exported from Unreal. None of the import options really matter for our purposes, so just hit import. It's a nightmare! Hide the skeleton because we don't need that right now. Much better. This is not a modeling tutorial, but there are a few things to keep in mind. Your cape should have a lot of polygons so that the simulation looks nice and unreal. The cape should have its own material applied to it, and the cape should be weighted to at least one bone. In this case, I just did spine underscore 03. So when you're done modeling your cape, apply any modifiers it has, select it, then the mannequin mesh, hit Control J to join them. Go into edit mode. Select just the cape and assign it to a bone of your choice. As mentioned before, I chose spine underscore 03. Make sure to give it its own material. Cape! Unhide the skeleton, select Cape Man. Select the skeleton, export FBX. The settings I use for skeletal meshes to Unreal are selected objects only, armature and mesh highlighted, X forward, Z up and smoothing set to face. Hit export. In Unreal, import. It auto-applied my skeleton, but if it didn't for you, choose the mannequin skeleton or whatever skeleton matches your character. The other stuff doesn't matter too much, but I like to tell it not to create new materials because it annoys me. When you open it up, the cape will be invisible from one of its sides. That's because the default material isn't double-sided. Create a new material. This isn't a materials tutorial. Just make sure that two-sided is checked. I also give it a red color. Now the real tutorial begins! Hit section selection. This selects by material section. Select your cape section. Right click, create cloth data from selection. Name it if you want. In the version of Unreal I'm using, sometimes there's a bug where the cloth data won't appear until you close and reopen the skeletal mesh editor. If you don't have the cloth window at all, go to Windows and make sure cloth is checked. Now select your cape, right click again, and go to Apply Clothing Data and choose your clothing data. Now select your clothing data, select the cape, hit Activate Cloth Paint. Your brush is huge! Over here are the settings. Under brush, a radius of 15 is much more reasonable. View paint value as a percentage of clothiness. 100 is fully clothy and 0 isn't clothy at all. Paint your cloth. When you're done, deactivate cloth paint. And it's a nightmare! Cloth paint depends upon your physics asset. Basically, Unreal Auto generates a ragdoll for every skeletal mesh that it imports, and it doesn't always do that well. The cloth collides with the said screw up physics asset, and you get this mess. Open that physics asset. There's a giant bone. Delete it. Perfect. Tweak it till you like it. Make him chicken dance. Duplicate it to have an army of 20 chicken dancing mannequins and one giga chicken dancing mannequin.